good morning from a very very rainy Tatry mountains here in Slovakia as one adventure ends another one starts we've just spent an incredible month up in a mountain cabin here in Slovakia and today we're leaving the time is 7 a.m. and we're beginning a three day journey across the entirety of Europe it's gonna be a lot of driving it's gonna be a lot of incredible scenery and uh, yeah we can't wait. That <laughs> sounds so unexcited. <laughs> We're going through Slovakia. We're about an hour away from Bratislava at the moment. Then we're going through Austria, Germany, Liechtenstein, Switzerland, and we're going to end up in France. There's actually a very particular reason we're heading to France, which we'll share later in the video. But for now, we're actually about to cross our first border. We'll come in in Österreich. Smashed it, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> One country down, five to go. So we've made it to the small Austrian town of Wels, I think it's pronounced, and um, yeah, it was about a 10 hour drive overall, that was because there was quite a bit of traffic and we had a few stops on the way. The drive itself, to be honest, was pretty uneventful and there wasn't much to look at other than driving through both Bratislava and Vienna, but yeah, the real sort of beautiful part of the drive starts tomorrow actually, so this was a long slog, we just wanted to get the most of the driving out of the way so that tomorrow and the day after we can just enjoy it and stop every 10 minutes to film and take photos because it is going to get really, really beautiful. Unless I take a wrong turn, <laughs> we end up driving around everything. No, I mean, I wouldn't mind taking the wrong turn in Switzerland. I don't yeah, think there is Yeah, as long as the wrong turn takes you into the mountains. As long as it eventually <laughs> takes me to France. <laughs> you know what I'm really looking forward to? What? Shower. Yeah. We haven't had a proper I... shower for a month. It wasn't like, it was really easy to shower in the cabin, but we were quite unfortunate with the weather and running around naked and wet in a really cold, rainy weather. No idea. I'm looking forward to a really hot, aggressive shower. You're like a matchy, not a smelly person. Was I supposed to comment on that? Or... Give you a rating? <laughs> no. What if, if you must? Six. Out of? Twelve. <laughs> 8 .3. You're a tough one to crack. <laughs> <laughs> After an incredibly aggressive shower, the next morning we woke up bright and early and set off once again. And just in case you were wondering about our route, here's our pitch side correspondent Julia with all the news. We're leaving the city of Wales and we're heading into Germany. Then we're going to cross back into Austria and going to end up in Liechtenstein today. Skirting along the back roads so as to avoid the Austrian toll roads, we crossed into Germany where immediately 
we were met with disappointment. We just had a quick stop at the service station and I'm not impressed, not impressed. First, we are back, <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. No, I'm not impressed. First, we are back on boring roads, which on its own, you know, okay. And in Austria and Germany, you have to pay to use the toilet service station it's not it's not no i don't think so and even if you buy something in the service station it gives you so there it was one euro and if you buy something in the service station it gives you a 50 cent discount what <laughs> i understand maybe charging people that are just stopping to use the loop no yeah? i don't no even that. no <laughs> sure no <laughs> but at least then but we were literally going to buy something anyway i just wanted to run that's it that's all i wanted to say literally <laughs> Welcome to Munich. So it's from here where we're going to turn south again and head back towards the Alps and towards the border of the border and towards the border with Austria um, and then on to Liechtenstein from there. So at the moment we haven't turned, but I'm expecting the map to tell us to turn left at any moment soon. Okay, so at this point we did take a wrong turn. We were meant to head south towards Innsbruck and then west towards Liechtenstein, but the Satnav decided we'd much prefer a flat motorway instead. So, after three more hours of rather boring driving, we arrived back in Austria and eventually pulled into the small town of Feldkirch on the Austrian Liechtenstein border. from the town of Feldkirch in Austria. We are actually just on our way out of town and on the edge of town is the border with Liechtenstein. And we're gonna cross now into Liechtenstein and then straight out of Liechtenstein, it's only small, into Switzerland, which is our final country before we then get to France. Yay. So we're on the home stretch today. <laughs> this is the last day and yeah, full speed ahead to France. Let's go, let's do it. So excited, I can't wait to see them. We've almost made it into France. We are driving through French speaking part of Switzerland and we are approaching Lake Geneva. We were actually planning to take more scenic routes today, but that would add another three to four hours on top of our journey and we just want to get there at this point <laughs> so we will we have to drive back to Bratislava to give the car back so we'll show you the scenic route at the end of this video we'll film a few parts so you can enjoy the mountains with us too so we got to the edge of Lake Geneva and we were trying to find a place to pull off and we pulled into the village of Chambézy and we were hoping to get a view of the lake hopefully we do as we round this corner but yeah, otherwise the sat map's having a fit and we might <laughs> have gone down about 10 wrong roads. So let's see, this could be the one. Or could not. Oh my God, it is. There we go. Wow, wow, we. <laughs> it may be the very tail end. <gasps> but Lake Geneva, please. <gasps> look over there, look. Oh through the God, trees. there's a little part there. Yeah, you've seen Lake Geneva now. <laughs> I can really see a tiny bit of mountains behind it. Oh. As we cross into our final country on this journey, I guess it's time to share why we travelled to eastern France. You see, our best friends live here in a small town near Lyon. And not too long ago they had a beautiful little girl, and we've travelled here to see all three of them. And I'm going to become a godmother. <laughs> By the way, let's introduce you. This is Quentin, Jana and Paulina. <laughs> we spent the first few days catching up on lost time together, exploring the Rhone Alp region and picking different fruits and vegetables.
Jana is my best friend from childhood back in Siberia. We were always close and over the years we've almost become family. Later that week, alongside all of Quentin's family, we headed into the city of Lyon and to the city's Russian Orthodox Church, where I was granted the honor of becoming this beautiful little human's godmother. There she is. Time with loved ones is always over too quick. But this week felt like a few hours. And before we knew it, we were saying our goodbyes and leaving France back towards Slovakia. But before we finish this video, we have some unfinished business in Switzerland. So when we looked at this route on the map to get back to Austria, where we're staying tonight, we wanted to drive through the mountains, as we said, but what we didn't realize is there's a car train we have to get. And we only realized by mistake because, um, yeah, <laughs> we turned up and here it is. But yeah, what an experience. It's gonna be real cool. So it's going right through the mountains. And I think it's gonna take about an hour off of our journey. So wow. yeah, incredible. Switzerland, I mean, what haven't they thought of here? <laughs> I didn't know trains for cars existed. This is a weird sensation. Honestly, we were, we were shaking a lot. That was so bumpy. <laughs> I don't know why I expected that it's going to be really smooth. <laughs> we were saying that was such a long tunnel. We were in there for 15 minutes, the tunnel, I would say. Yeah. How on earth did they build that? How long did it take them to build it? Honestly, incredible. What country? <laughs> what a country. Oh. I need to look. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been. <laughs> I don't know why I'm indicating. <laughs> Interesting, it looks so different in the daylight. <laughs> I mean, everything looks different in the daylight. I wanted to say we've been driving through so many little quaint villages, and it's been really interesting to see that all these tiny villages are like train stations, and everything seems to be connected, interconnected really well. Maybe it only seems like that because we don't live here and we don't know. No, I mean, I, I think that is genuinely the case. People. Majority of the times we've been struggling to get around England if we don't have a car, to be honest. The transportation is not great, but. Yeah. Here they have like a tiny village, train station. Cool, I find I find things like that interesting. I agree. I think it's the most beautiful country in the world. They have so many nice cars. And us. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, done, it's done bloody well though, hasn't it? I didn't want to jinx it, maybe I have now. We've still a couple of days left. I think it's, it's a good car. Well done you. Let's give well him a pat done. on the head. It doesn't stop, does it? No. So after that train journey, I thought, that's it. We're coming down now, but we've just gone on an incredible path. You look so pissed off about it. I do I know. I'm just <laughs> gobsmacked. Incredible path. Incredible path. No, I'm gobsmacked. We're 2,044 metres up at the moment, at the top of this path. How much? 2,044. My ears are gone. Yeah, yeah. It's just incredible. Honestly, this drive has just been the gift that keeps on giving. And it's still only half five in the evening. <laughs> what more can we do? I want to come back here in the winter and ski. Look at all these runs. Incredible. Could you live in Switzerland? Incredible. I mean, like in principle, I could live in Switzerland 100%. I'm not sure if our bank balance could stretch to live in Switzerland. But no, I'm not Maybe in, in the future, yeah, positivity is key. Let's go get a drink. Let's. Christening, I woke up, bonus already, and I uh, went to the bathroom to wash my face and I was hoping that I hope I don't have any massive, you know, spots on my face to ruin everything. And um, <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> I woke up with this. And uh, I never had anything like that in my life. This was literally the first time. The timing is just... Blended. Well, I think it looks good. It adds to you. It's like, you know, the old beauty spot on the, the side of the, what do you call it? The face? I just realised what you said at the beginning as well. What? I woke up, which was a bonus. Always is. It is always a bonus. It is. Yeah, yeah so never a true word said, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> kind of dark, but yeah. Honest. Honest. After leaving the Tatry Mountains in Slovakia, we travelled over two and a half thousand kilometres from Eastern Europe to our friends in France and then back via Switzerland and eventually to the place where it all began, where we said goodbye to our noble steed and where we'll say goodbye to you. So on that note, thanks so much for watching and see you next week.